Wanted to explain why Fence 6 is still the most underrated perk that a lot of people, for some odd reason, seem to think is... Yeah, but they think this isn't worth it. This is Luger CCI. I can get 30 rounds of this for 5,000 rupees. If I wanted to get 30 rounds of Luger CCI normally, it's 8,000 rubles. It's not a lot of savings, right? Like this is, and this is the market being at a low point, but it does add up when we're talking about ammo. This is your biggest cost in Tarkov is ammo. And Fence 6, it's not always reliable what you can get, but you can come, you can come in and check out. Right now, there's not really great ammo in here. Not going to lie. The only thing that was really good was Luger CCI. Maybe 45 ACP laser match. It's kind of cheaper this way. It's uh, 80 rubles versus the dollar, which is... Uh, right now, what's the dollar conversion rate? Let's take a look. What is the dollar conversion rate to rubles? It's 107. So it's not a huge savings. I, I'm not saying this is going to make or break your bank. This isn't going to make or break your experience. But this is a very underrated... You can get deals on here all the time. Now, there's certain things. Comtax, for example, right? Like, I can get Comtax for cheap. I don't need Comtax, though. I have more than enough Comtax. But there's a lot of equipment that shows up in here that's just generally good. Ammo being the one that's probably the biggest one for me. Uh, but there's also other little things. Meds, for example. Just randomly in here. You know, and sometimes you can get guns with pretty good attachments on them. You'd have to kind of check out. You need to know what attachments are worth it to buy a gun. Uh, so, for example, you know, this, it's right here, the DTK-1, is kind of worth it for, you know, it's 14000 but the gun is, uh, yeah, somebody already bought the gun, right? Like, it, you, know, you can get our Shamaska, you know, you can get respirators for cheap versus paying eight grand for them, nine grand, ten grand for them on, on the flea market. It, it's just an extra resource to sometimes save money on it. I think it's underrated. I would definitely recommend still going for Fence 6. This isn't even the greatest thing you get from having Fence 6, but it is pretty good. If you're wondering how to get Fence 6, it's pretty easy. You just need to run a lot of scavs, not shoot friendly scavs, try to kill enemy PMCs, try to kill traitor scavs, which does take a little bit to get used to. You need to take all the car extracts as a PMC, and you need to try to do the co-op extracts as a PMC or as a scav. If you can do all of that, Fence 6 actually comes pretty easy. Uh, I've only had two trader, I've only had two uh, negative rep losses this wipe so far. Uh, one where I accidentally shot a scab after he shot me, and for some reason it didn't count. And then a second one where uh, I accidentally shot a scab because I got a little bit of gear fear. I released a video on it, and I lost 0.6 karma. Uh, so if you ever get over 6.0 karma right here, if you do anything negative you will go back to 5.97 so it doesn't matter if i get this number up to 20 if i lose one piece of karma it goes all the way back to 5.97